What up peeps? Welcome back to another video. On this video we are going to do the old brake calipers, which I've been meaning to do for ages. Finally got uh, a weekend off work and a weekend of doing stuff, so I've got a free weekend basically. So I'm going to take the front brake calipers off, bring them in here, clean them all up, and then I'm going to paint them and decal them and then lacquer them. Now, I don't really know I'm going to film it because the weather is really bad outside. I mean, it's not raining at the moment, they give snow, but the the wind's horrendous, so the wind noise of the microphone would just be shocking. So, I think I will just time-lapse video the removal of the uh, calipers, and then I'll probably talk you through what I'm going to do to them and then I'll time like the video me actually prepping them, painting them, lacquering them, decaling them and all that sort of stuff and then time lapse them going back on and then we'll have a little look at them when they're finished. So hopefully it doesn't take too long um, but I have got all day today so I'm going to get the brake calipers off and then we can start making them look a lot better. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Calipers are off, carriers are off. I put a time lapse video up, but it's, it's literally four bolts, that's about it. And you just need to like crimp off the uh, brake line or use a plug. Just obviously stop brake for it going absolutely everywhere. Uh, it took me no time at all. I obviously only filmed one side because the other side is exactly the same. Like I said, it's just four bolts and they all, they all come apart. And then I didn't film the next bit because it's pretty boring. I just, uh, cleaned them all up basically. I I used some, yeah, I was down here, let me get it. I used this like wheel cleaner, which is really good for like getting tough skeins and it's like a degreaser and a tar remover for our iron away wheels from Evian Luxury Car Care. I used a bit of that and some warm water and cleaned them up with like those these little brushes you get them at Poundland they do, they come in like a pack of six you get two nylons two brass and two steels they're proper good for getting in and like all the little crevices and stuff and as you can see they came up pretty good to be fair so clean them all uh, wire brush them all then watered them down and then I used the iron away wheels, squirted that on them, left them for about 5-10 minutes so it could do its thing and then give it another scrub with the nylon brush then washed that off and dried them and left them for about 10-15 minutes just to dry before I start painting them obviously because they always say with painting anything that three quarters of a good paint job is the prep before the paint. So the prep before the paint is done uh, I think I'll just set that up, set the camera up on the corner of the table and maybe just do a time lapse of me painting them. I've got decals to put on the Type R embossed bits down here, and here. And then once they're painted, probably do a couple of coats, let it dry, put the um, decals on the Type R and then I've got a clear lacquer spray that I'm then going to spray over them to hold the decals on a little bit better and, and protect the paint a little bit. So doing a proper job of this one. So yeah, I'll set the video up now, do a time lapse of me painting the calipers.
Tuesday lunchtime and I started this on God Saturday morning Saturday lunchtime sort of time obviously the weather was horrendous I'll put a little picture up now or up here somewhere how bad it was down here and obviously it stopped me being able to fit them and then I did fit them then I needed to bleed all the brakes which I've done today but they're finally back on so that was my little video of me doing up my front calipers the only things that I don't like about it they came out all right but I don't I wish I sprayed them rather than painted them because it's gone on quite thick and it's not as nice a finish as I would like and another thing the little decals that I put on the little two type R decals uh, I assumed that you get two lots of them in a pack but you get one so I have to order another one and then I have to stick them on at another time so I've only got one side as you've probably seen in those little videos that's got type R written in the black and the red which is annoying uh, after I um, painted them I chucked six or seven coats of this high temp clear lacquer on don't know whether I videoed that or not it was getting late I was getting annoyed the weather was annoying me but yeah it's done but yeah they're all right I just wish I'd sprayed them rather than painted them but I already had the paint so it was worth a shot I can always spray them another time but the only reason why it was such a fast is because of the goddamn weather so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little video of me doing that. Um, I've got loads more in the pipelines. I've got a little board lock up there. there you can see that. With everything that I want to do for this channel and everything I want to do for the other channel. There's tons of stuff in the pipeline. The meet I was going to go to as well on Sunday was cancelled because the weather was so bad. So that's rescheduled I think for this weekend. So I'll probably go to that and get some footage of the meet which will be like my first one in this car as well which will be cool. Please consider subscribing if you're not already doing so. I'm overwhelmed by the amount of people that subscribed already, considering it hasn't even been up a month yet. So thank you all so, so much. I love you all. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, or give us a thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, the, all the feedback is much appreciated. Don't forget, if you're into vintage and retro toys, you can also follow our other channel, Cowbunga Collectibles, where we do all sorts of nostalgic awesomeness, and that's been going for a while now. It's been going up for about a year, so. If you're into that sort of stuff i'll put a link down below obviously go and give us a follow in there if you would like to and until next time like i always say keep it metal